for our second week of examining how Hattie can be applied to our classroom using technology in this video, we're going to be looking at instruction. So one of the things that Hattie found that had a 1.0 desired effect was note taking, specifically the note taking where students are summarizing key concepts. So we all had that struggle where students just try to copy down what's on the PowerPoint or what's on the board. Uh, this really is about summarization. So when we look at the next slide, we're going to kind of combine this up with non-linguistic representations, which have a 0.75 desired effect. So remember, anything in this dark green is good. Um, so non-linguistic representations can be anything from skits to drawings, graphic organizers, physical models, doing things with the manipulative that will represent um, something that they're learning. So the idea here is if you're having students really summarize and you're having them using long linguistic representations, it keeps them from just copying what's on the PowerPoint. So an idea that you can use with technology with this is the AWE app. The AWE app is spelled A-W-W-A-P-P dot com. It means uh, it's an online whiteboard. Okay. So the AWE app is device agnostic, which means that you can write in it on an iPad, on your cell phone, on um, really on a computer, and it's extremely intuitive. So if I was going to be trying to draw an image as a closure activity today, and we're going to draw an image that shows that we understand um, what we just learned from this video, I'm going to go ahead and create a non-linguistic representation right here, and it's extremely intuitive. I stated before, but I can go here, I can draw a kid drawing, right? This is my pencil, can't you tell? Uh, I can even go and have text. I can also have, there's a variety of shapes. And you can change up the thickness of things, let me go change the color, okay? Um, so you can represent things in a multitude of ways, and then it's very easy to share. So I could just export the board as a PDF or as an image. And then I could go upload that into Schoology. So this can be your next warm up. Okay, what do you remember about yesterday or your closure activity? How would you sum this up in an image? Uh, and you can have kids post it and then actually explain it within a discussion board. So there's a lot of different things you can do for non-linguistic non representations. But one of the ways that you can have students taking notes is visually using something as easy as the all app. Don't forget, if you are interested in getting a free Sonic drink, jeans pass, or other goodie, uh, don't forget to reply back to the email, the question that's in the sway, so that way you can get your goodies.